What is going on guys? It's Alex here. Today I'm here at Suncoast Aviation in a Cessna 172. Definitely my favorite airplane. Probably because that's what I've been flying most of my uh, aviation career. But um, anyways, today I want to talk about BORs, okay? Um, there's a lot of videos out there that go super in depth on BORs and, and I mean amazing videos. But today I want to focus on the flying aspect of things, okay? How to fly any radio um, as fast and effective as possible. That's that's what I want to talk about, okay? Because I have a, I don't know if, if it's my trick or if this is a wildly taught, but I have a little trick that I want to share with you guys and um, yeah, make it easier on you, okay? So uh, let's go right ahead. GNS 430 over here, okay? So obviously the first step is to go ahead and put the BUR frequency in there. And how we do that is by clicking, well, yeah, by pushing this button over here, and that allows us to uh, change the BUR frequency, okay, in the nav one. So um, we already have the Cypress BUR frequency over here, uh, 108.6. Uh, and give me a quick second, there's a jet coming by. I'm just gonna wait till they pass by. There you go, boom, gone. <laughs> All right, so the first step after you put the frequency in here is to identify the frequency, okay? You wanna make sure you're in the right frequency. And for that, you just push over here. Um, if you ever forget, it says uh, push for ID, and we're gonna push there. And then the next step is to go up here in the audio panel and click on nav one. Actually, this one you have to like click and hold. And this is how you're gonna be able to identify the VUR. So this is gonna give you a Morse code that you're gonna match with your sectional chart, okay? So that's how you know that you are in the right um, BUR. Next step, and this is super important, is to press the CDI button from, you know, you gotta change that from GPS to B-Lock. A lot of people refer to this button like the $700 button because if you forget to press that button, it could cost you a check ride, okay? So now, Next step is to set up the BUR with the radio, okay? So let's say the instruction is fly and intercept the 120 radio from the station. So anytime they tell you to do um, from, you simply gonna put that same radio on the top, okay? So if it's from, always put the radio that it was mentioned in the instruction on the top okay now once you've done that you're gonna see what heading that is in this case is one to zero and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna fly one to zero okay so this way you're gonna be flying parallel to this radio now you guys uh, once you're parallel you guys see where these um, little triangles and other airplanes they're like uh, like little dots that represents 45 degrees, okay? So you always um, pretty much, let me make this just like if we were turning, so we're at a heading of one to zero. Um, so you always in intercept a, a radial at a 45. So now the next step is to see where the needle is. In this case, it is to your right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your bug and you're gonna put it right on the triangle and you're gonna fly to where your heading bug is, okay? So this is pretty much going to give you the 45 to this radio. Then the CDI, the course deflection indicator, is gonna start moving uh, inboard and right when it's right outside of the donut, that's when you're gonna start turning into your radio, okay? Now let's say it was one two zero to the station. Then what you gotta use is the opposite radio. Okay, you see how that flag switch? So you're gonna use the opposite to one two zero, which is three zero zero. So in this case, if it was to the station, you're simply gonna go ahead and fly a heading of three zero zero. 
All right, there's 300, you're gonna bug it. And in this case, it says the CDI is saying that the radial is to your left. You're gonna go ahead and put your bug to the 45 indicator right there. You guys see that? You're gonna fly towards that heading. And this way you're gonna intercept the 120 radial to the station at a 45. As soon as the CDI starts getting towards the outer side of the donut, you will start flying a heading of 300 until you intercept the radial.